And in the 450 division, riding for Team Honda HRC, Ken Roxon. And in second, riding for Rockstar Energy, Husqvarna, Jason Anderson. And your winner, riding for Rocky Mountain, ATV MC, Blake Baggett. Congrats, guys. The restart is something we don't see often. Uh, take us through kind of just the emotions, the adrenaline, and the whole process of having to kind of bring it all down and start and fire it all back, uh, back up again and just kind of how that was for you. Ken, we'll start with you. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're leading and, and the red flag comes out, it's never too fun. Um, I wasn't really sure if uh, we're going to restart at the gate or if we're going to do a staggered start, and luckily they did say the staggered start. But uh, no, I mean, it's it's tough, you know, and first off, you don't want to ever see anybody down, so um, that was a bummer. I hope Malcolm was all right, but overall, up until then, I, I pulled a good hole shot, and I just focused so hard on that start because the heat race did not did not go very well for me and made some adjustments and just came out swinging, and I wasn't going to let that um, that heat race bring me down, and, and so I knew I had to turn the whole night around, and so we came out swinging there and led some good laps and put in put in some pretty good speed and I was just super focused on trying to hit my marks and pull that through for the entire race until the red flag. So of course it was a, a bummer, but it was the same for everybody. Jason. Yeah, obviously, uh, like Ken said, you don't want to see anyone hurt or anything like that. But uh, yeah, the the red flag just uh, definitely throws a curveball in the, the whole system. And um, but but luckily we were able to do the staggered start. So it didn't really ruin us, us guys up front too much. So um, yeah. It was uh, kind of crazy, but uh, you know, it ended up uh, <coughs> still uh, working out pretty good. Blake? I was stressing it. I had Vince Freeze behind me, to be honest. Uh, I was like, I don't know if this is a good spot to be in. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was just one of those things where um, your heart rate eventually comes down and then, you know, it's like, when do you put your goggles on? And then the guy was holding up the flag and then he put it down like it was a false start. And then all of a sudden, but go. You know, they they did say he he told me he said I'm gonna have the yellow flag out and it'll be five to ten seconds, so I put it in gear. Yeah. And I was for like forty seconds. I'm like, oh man, I hope my clutch is gonna survive. <laughs> well, I think like, the other guys had to tell him to go. You know, like they were like telling him to like wave the green flag. So yeah, yeah. it was crazy. I Took was confused. Time. Me too. And worried. <laughs> you know, they don't practice that often either. So <laughs> you had to give the guy a break on the on the flag. <clears throat> All right, Dark Side, Moto X Pod Show. Jason, um, once Blake got by you, he started gapping you pretty quick. Were, did, were you tightening up, or did you just decide, hey, tonight, second's good enough? Um, yeah. Well, once, um, when, I, when I was leading, I was, I was trying my best, and, and I felt like I was, I was riding really good, but I felt Blake right there, and um, I honestly, I, I don't think like I had like the speed that I was putting down you know, the, for, for the first three laps when I got into the lead. And then I like, you know, that sometimes you have a comfortable pace and you're able to gap and I, I wasn't gapping Blake. So um, he got up on me and um, yeah, I didn't really uh, put up too much of a fight and um, just really wanted to uh, honestly second this weekend is, is so good compared to how last weekend went. So I was just happy to, to be up here and um, be battling again. So it was good and uh, I was happy just to be on the podium, even top five. <laughs> Kenny, uh, thoughts on the pass? Um, I mean, we're racing, you know. I didn't think about him diving in there like that. I didn't hear him either. And, you know, the the ruts, I feel like in the last few years especially, they kind of go up and then they, they hook down pretty sharp. So I was just committed to the inside rut, but I saw a white bike there. So um, went down and um, I tried to get up as quick as possible. Luckily, my bike was still running and um, all I was, you know, once I got going and went over the finish line jump, I knew I was in fourth, though. And the front two guys, they just had a little bit of a gap on me. So I was just trying to get on the podium. Steve Guyberson with Vital MX. Blake, it, it looked uh, like when you caught Jason, were, were you kind of being patient there? Um, and did you want to be leading those last few laps? To, to be honest, no. I already seen what went down a few laps before that. So I was being patient. 
um, and just trying to trying to find a spot. You know, I didn't uh, I didn't want it to get into a, a slugging fest out there, and you know, then all of a sudden the, the train was going to be right back up to us. So I was trying to uh, to just basically wait wait for a mistake, really, because there's nowhere to pass. I mean, the place is like concrete out there. Um, and you, you fight for traction as soon as you be a little aggressive you push the front wheel or slide or spin or something and i quit three and on so i honestly thought jason was going to get away from me because i just couldn't get the thing to, to bite and get up on there um, i wasn't comfortable with it and then uh you know we kind of banjoed a little bit and then he, he came back to me and i was uh just trying to trying to find somewhere but it, it might have looked like i was laying up but it was really just trying to find traction and just find a spot where it was going to be feasible Jim Kimball, motocross action. Um, this first question is for Kenny. Kenny, you're the only guy so far that's been on the podium at both rounds. I don't know what the points are. I didn't see that, but um, what do you? How do you feel about being on so consistent so far? Well, it's, it has only been two races, so I'm just trying to stay super neutral, and I don't let my highs get too high and my lows get too low. So we're in a great spot, and, and I'm having fun out there, and we're, we're all working really hard. So um, in the end, with how many good guys there are, the start's really important. And we got it tonight, and, and that makes life a lot easier, obviously, um, just staying out of the madness a little bit. So I was super happy after not having good starts last week and just kind of weaseling my way through. I was pumped to get the whole shot and just actually ride how I want to ride, you know, and not get caught up behind people and eat roots the whole time. So... Um, but yeah, another another podium, and we're on the right path. So it's really just kind of like a staying focused in a waiting game to, to get some races under our belt. And you know, the last couple of years, I have hardly raced past the first five races. So um, for right now, we're just keeping cool and, and doing our thing. And then for Blake, uh, Blake, you looked so good at um, A1 in that heat race you won. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, is this your first Supercross 450 win? Yeah, first win. I, my heat race wasn't that good at Anaheim. I think I got fourth or something. But I practiced good. I just, I don't know, that guy went home before the night show started. <laughs> Can you just uh, maybe expand on getting your first win? Yeah, I mean, it. Uh, you got pretty much 20 factory bikes out there, and, you know, there's there's probably 10 to 12 guys that are within a second. So it's uh, just comes down to having, you know, all your P's and, and Q's in order and just having your, the training program and everything else dialed in, the bike dialed in and being in a good spot. And then a little bit of luck and, you know, kind of that's where it's at. So I don't think it's sunk in yet, but it's one of those things where, uh, you know, you get one and, and now all I can think about even on the walk over here is, you know, want to go racing next weekend. Um, I don't want it to rain, by all means, but uh, it is what it is, and just move on to the next weekend. Uh, Nate Fain, Arizona Republic. This is for Blake. Um, did you feel like you were running out of time at all? I can't remember exactly when you made that last pass in the race. I felt like it was within in the last minute. Did you feel like you were maybe running out of time? And then once you did get the lead, what was kind of running through your mind as you were trying to seal the deal uh i mean i was when we were kind of banjoing back and forth i was i was checking the timer you know looking up after the finish line and, and seeing how much time was left so i was i was trying to be smart about it and and not rush anything but also not not wait too long so um at, at a point there i thought maybe i'd waited too long and didn't uh, didn't throw it in there early enough and then it uh you know things just kind of went my way Jason Wygant, Race Rex. I believe it's also the first 450 Supercross win for your team, Blake, and for you. So, okay, maybe it hasn't sunk in for you, but there had to have been some pretty big high fives and hugs or whatever would happen after you won it or up on the podium. What was that like? Yeah, I just didn't give Ray Butts a hug yet because I didn't want him to crush me. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, it's a bummer. It's my first win, and, uh, you know, the bummer about it is Forrest Butler, the team owner, was not able to make this one. So, out of the one to win, I, uh, I guess – Guys, I'm going to have to try to do this again sometime when he is there. Um, but, yeah, no, it, it hasn't sunk in yet. But it's it's one of those things where uh, I was able to get the, the team's first podium. And then uh, we were able to get their first win outdoors. And, uh, you know, we had the red plate a little bit outdoors for a while. So um, trying to put it on the map and, and, you know, race against the factory teams like Husky and, and you know, the HRC guys. So we, uh, you know, we have all the equipment and the tools to do it. It's just about, uh, you know, doing the job on the weekend and trying to get it done.
were you at all nervous when you were closing on Jason and this is your chance to get the lead and maybe win one and then the last couple of laps you're leading? Was all that type of stuff running through your mind like, wow, this could really be it? No, like the last five laps are a blur. Literally a blur. All I remember is like the last lap or, or a lap to go, there was somebody rolling, not deciding what way he was going to roll on in the whoops. And I was like, it came out of the turn. I looked up and I'm like, I don't know if he's going left or right. So I went down the middle and it was a terrible line. But uh, that's literally the only thing that, that can stick to me with the, in the last five laps. I was just being patient and trying to uh, capitalize on any mistakes. Uh, this one is for Jason. What is the difference here between last week and this week besides 12 positions in the order? What's the difference riding-wise? Um, I've been riding good during the week and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, last weekend I just – it, it was crazy. It was just a lot of stuff going on, you know, um, not only from, like, obligations and stuff like that. I had a horrible heat race, and then they wanted to do the ring presentation for the championship, and it was just, like, it was just a lot, and I was just not really in the the right uh, head place, you know, to um, to to be racing, <laughs> to be honest. But um, I really uh, was pumped to be on the box this weekend and um, just want to keep it going and, and keep my head down and keep uh, trying to, you know, battle with these guys. It's, uh, it's, it's cool to all be up here and, um, you know, we're, we're all riding good. And, and this year there's a lot of guys that are going to be good and it's crazy how close it is. So it's, it's going to be entertaining. This is Austin Rohr with Transworld Motocross. This question is for Ken. It's not often that you're sitting on the line at a staggered start in front of the rest of the pack. Um, how does that compare to being on the line when you're dead even with everyone else as far as your mentality goes? Um, well, it's like Blake said earlier, your heart rate started coming down, and I just wanted it to keep going because I do believe it starts getting a little bit more I – I don't know if it's dangerous, but once you start kind of cooling down and all of a sudden you have to go again after you know, pretty much being in the high revs, so it was kind of just, I was just waiting, honestly, and then it was kind of slow, and, and then, you know, we didn't know what the flagger was going to do and when we were actually going to go, so it was a little bit confusing for sure, but I, other than that, I think, you know, it's just pretty much an empty mind, I would say, you know, you're just trying to get this thing going again, and I don't think there's real, like, now that I think back, I honestly don't know what I was thinking about. I was just trying to get on the way and, and stay focused. You mentioned turning it around. Practice, I think you were ninth or 10th. The heat race, like you said, wasn't good. What what did you fix for the main event? It was like a totally different guy. Well, for practice, I, I'm never really that good good of a rider when it comes to putting putting down one heater. So all I focus on is feeling comfortable on the bike or and you know feeling good on the track. And I felt pretty good, so I wasn't really stressing at all. But uh, I made a little adjustment, and that was the opposite of what I should have gone for in the heat race. And I just wasn't really comfortable out there, and it, it wasn't working for me. And, um, we definitely hit the target coming into the main. I noticed it right away when I did the parade lab. I tried to race that one a little bit and um, felt pretty comfortable on the bike. So that gave me some, some good mental strength. And um, I knew I was going to be comfortable out there no matter where I would start. So it was just all about being comfortable on the bike. Luckily, we don't get points for heat races. <laughs> Thanks, guys.